hope you're doing marvellously well. This year at NAM, we visited with our good friends at Lewitt and they showed us some brand new microphones. They are finally coming out. And the great thing about these microphones is they are small diaphragm condensers, but they are tiny and they're really inexpensive, but they keep the same high quality capsules that the more expensive ones do. As you know, I use Lewitt um, small diaphragm condensers on acoustic guitar and my overheads every day. Every drum track we do has them. Every acoustic guitar we do has them. So let's try out the new ones. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to record a bit of an acoustic and you can hear it and we'll also put them as overheads and I'll have David, you know, play some cymbals, strums, so acoustic, and we'll probably put an X, Y on a piano here just so you can hear how these sound. I'm very excited to try them out. And as ever, of course, we're going to do a giveaway. So you're going to be able to enter to win the microphones as well. First things first, let's get them out of the box. Okay, lovely. So these are called the LCT. There's the 140 and it's the 140 Air and it's the 040 Match. Oh, they're so light. This is the thing about them that's really remarkable. It's incredibly light, but they feel substantial at the same time. So um, it says sound. Oh, okay. So if you look on the sound here, it's like it looks like there's a bump on the high end. So like a little bit of a high frequency bump. And then if you pull it down or push it up, you see now it goes flat. So high frequency bump or flat. Let's leave it on the default, which is the high frequency bump and see if that adds the extra detail on the acoustic guitar. We're gonna try them on. The next one down is linear or 80. So 80 is obviously the high pass at 80 hertz, and then linear would be flat with no high pass whatsoever. Um, and then there's a pad, a pad here, and it's zero and minus 12. I mean, it really is. I wish I could pass this to you through the screen, but these are ridiculously light. I mean, yeah. This is really quite fantastic. So this is the LCT 140 Air. So my guess is because it shares the name of the 140 that I use every day, is that it's the same capsule. It just has more features and frankly, it doesn't weigh anything. Okay, what could be important about this? Well, a couple of things. Um, frankly, obviously all of these additional features are very useful. High pass is great. High end little bump is really, really nice. And of course a pad if you've got a super loud drummer. All of that is a given. All of that is absolutely fantastic. It looks like it's a fixed cardioid pattern here, which is fine because 99.9% .9 of the situations, you're only gonna use cardioid. The other thing that's really kind, it might sound silly, but it's actually quite important, is when the microphone doesn't weigh half a ton, um, you don't have to have a steel reinforced stand to hold it. So I like that. Not only do you not need a steel reinforced stand, the point is, is it's very unlikely that the stand will go and there's nothing more annoying than going, what happened? And your boom has dropped like four inches on one side and, and, and 18 on the other. And you're realizing that you've just recorded a whole drum track and the overheads are out of phase because they both dropped. So light is good in this, res in this respect. So. And the fact that it's sharing the same capsule as the 140, I think is pretty fantastic as well. Of course, comes with a clip, which is always nice. You don't have to buy that. I mean, obviously it's standard, but it's still nice. And of course, a pop screen, which is rather nice. Okie dokie, we have a pair of those. Now let's go and check out the 040s. Now this, I thought was really, this was the one that I thought was extra nifty at the show. And you'll see why in a minute. You'll probably remember if you've watched any of my early, early videos, what drew me to um, actually buy Lewitt in the first place when I bought the very first 550s was a friend had recommended them to me. This is about five years ago. Or four, yeah, it was before I started the YouTube channel. So it was five years ago. They recommended that I try the LCT 550 because I wanted a matched pair of large diaphragm condensers, something like a 414. But I remember looking online and seeing 414s, God bless them, but seeing them at like 12 or $1,400, like 1200 bucks. 
each. And I'm thinking, a pair? Do I really want to spend $2,500, $2,600 on a pair of large diaphragm condensers that I'm probably going to use on pianos and overheads sometimes, or rooms, or, or whatever? So a friend of mine said, try out the LCT 550. They are, you can buy two of them, and they're perfectly matched. That's what this company really kind of built a lot of their reputation on was the fact that they're almost completely noiseless, super, super quiet. They are very detailed with very little colorization. Most of the inexpensive microphones that we see out there are very, very colored in the high end and are almost completely useless in the low end. And with Lewitt, they that is not their characteristic. Their characteristic is open detail with little coloration, except for obviously that, which is a, a switch to engage some coloration. So this has always been a great selling point, plus the fact that I've owned, I don't know, 40 of these microphones and they still all work, um, and we use them everywhere. Okay, so here it is. Here is the 040 match. Obviously this matched pair, we're gonna put them on the overheads and we'll put them on the piano and give them a listen. Again, pop screens, and of course, mic clips. Rather nifty. I think we'll try an XY on the piano, and we'll try a spaced pair on the, um, on the overheads, just to kind of see how they feel. Those are the two things we'll try. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. So I believe a pair of these is $189. So it's less than $200 for a pair of stereo match microphones. This, the LCT-140 Air, is $149. So pretty inexpensive. Great options. Let's try them out. Okay, so let's mess around with this a little bit. Well, first of all, I'm just going to do my usual miking, which is going to be the bottom part here and I'm gonna face it from the sound. Let's just have a listen. That sounds freaking awesome. So that sounds really good already. Is it just flat? Um, yeah, it's okay. Oh no, so that's with the slight, that's with the air on it. Ooh. Fancy. One more time. All right, that's. Have a listen. Have a listen. The, uh, let the artist have a listen. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's really good. It's like not compressed at all, but it's sparkling. So it doesn't feel like it's folding in. The high end feels really detailed. Yeah. It's not folding in. I mean, that's just with the, with, the, with the air on it. So let's turn the air off and see what the difference is. Not that I want to. Now I just want to keep it like this. I was like, why, why would I want to turn it off? It sounds good on acoustic. All right. Kind of middly because it's got the mid range, so it doesn't have that little high end boot bump. Now try it again. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like my old Neumann Gefell, uh, not a 582, the 691. I used to have an MV691, which was a, um, a solid state, not a tube version, a Gefell. It was from the 70s and it sounded amazing. And somebody broke it, somebody smashed the capsule. And the problem is that's, yeah. And it had a really hyped high end and I didn't have to EQ it in the track. That's what that sounds like. Stupendous. All right, I mean, wow, it wins. <laughs> I suppose, let's do something horrible on purpose. So I'm gonna put the, the filter on and I'm gonna pull it back and deliberately put it, which is not what I would do, but I'm gonna deliberately put it near the sound hole just to see if that, you can just sit there. I wanna see if that, what well, that does. So this is with the filter on 80, bypass. Okay. Now the high pass off, so now it's back to linear flat. Huge difference immediately. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah great. All right, so so it's kind of a rescue in 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 crappy situations. Um, that's really nice. Wow. I mean, to be honest, I probably would just keep that on at all times on acoustics, but it doesn't seem necessarily with that boost. Now what I've got is I've got the high pass on and I've got the uh, the boost, the air. Let's have a listen. Yeah, it sounds like a record. Sounds like a record. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, so that is what, $149. $149 to get a world-class acoustic guitar sound. Nice work. <laughs> All right, let's try out the mini ones. We're gonna put them um, on overheads and just hear how the whole kit sounds and then maybe we'll try them on the piano. Okay, I must say we just threw these mics up and then measured 40 and a, 46 and a half inches from the snare. So they're in face. And we just had David play like a quiet beat and listening in there, they sound fantastic. Just play that again, like a, a quiet, quiet group. So that's just those mics. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. You have to come in and listen yeah, to yeah, it. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's hear some detail work in the overheads. Like, give us a bit of, um, you know, like a, something on a ride and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, do me a favor, get, uh, play a hat part and then go around the cymbals. Okay. It's really nice. <laughs> wow, I, isn't, what, isn't the world a wonderful place now that we can get microphones <laughs> for $189 for a pair that can do this? All right, last thing, we're going to throw it on a piano. Cool. So I suppose we've got a spaced AB here at the moment. It says thump, thump, thump. Um, yeah. It's just for a second, let's just hear that. I want to hear the piano. Wow, did they, maybe, maybe Louis are messing with us and they put like these really expensive capsules in here and the actual production models weren't, and, no, seriously. Yeah. How good does that sound? Yeah, the detail is crazy. It's insane. And the face is remarkably good, it's all coming out. Do it, you're messing with us. <laughs> All right, so we've got the capsules <clears throat> and an XY. Let's hear it. So when did my really crappy piano suddenly start sounding good? <laughs> these are really good. Yeah, $189 for a pair of these microphones. We're completely and utterly blown away. Enter to win. Somewhere around here is some kind of giveaway thing. They've really outdone themselves because we're used to hearing this kind of quality from them at four or five times the price. And that's usually as good as people that are twice their price, but this is insane. Bravo, wonderful work. Great work. Enter to win. Thank you, David. Yeah. Marvelous.